So we've all been there before. You're setting up to play a live show at a venue and you get to the stage and there is like a wedge or maybe even the sound guy hands you some in-ear monitoring system. But the problem is the sound guy is the one that's controlling your in-ear monitoring system. And oftentimes he's so busy doing tons of other things and in order for you to get the perfect mix, you might need to dial it in and it might take five to 10 minutes. And you don't wanna keep bugging the sound guy and keep asking him to come turn this up or turn this down and get your mix right so maybe you just say you know what I don't even care I'm just gonna try to play my best but you really know that if you had that in your mix or the wedge dialed in perfectly then you could really hear yourself and it would really improve your performance so this is the problem we're gonna tackle today my dad is gonna show you how to set up your own in-ear monitoring rig so that you can get the perfect in-ear mix that you control and the best thing is you can actually take this rig with you to every single show Show that you play and while most systems can be extremely expensive and not attainable for the average musician this rig is relatively affordable compared to the systems that are out there so let's get into the video dad take it away today we're going to take a look at my x32 rig it's a behringer x32 rack mount version i've got it in a rack that i kind of custom Put together i use an sd8 with it which adds eight more mic pre's it's a box that they have they also have an sd16 but i have the sd8 so it makes it a 24 channel mixer and i also use the inner p16 inner uh, mixers and each one of our band members each get their own mixer and i'll show you how i set up the uh, studio quality headphone mix on the in-ears on that mixer so that each person can dial up their own mix as it has a great sound in the headphones i learned a long time ago working in studios if you lose the players they play better so if they can hear themselves and they like what they hear they really do play a lot better and the same thing goes with for any musician whether they're studio or live so hey let's take a look at the rack and i'll show you what i did how i put it together and why i did that Okay, so now taking a look at this X32 rig I've got. As you can see, I've got a SKB rolling rack. I bought this a few years ago. I don't even know if they make this version of it anymore, but it's uh, you can go along, look along. I think they have an 8. Um, they have the 8 space one now. It's just a little bit bigger. So I've got it pretty compact in here. First line here, as you can see, is uh, I have a couple of uh, XLR patch bays. The first one is the input, the first 16 inputs, which is uh, going straight into the back of the uh, mixer, one through 16. Uh, the second uh, patch bay, the XLR, is a split from the first one. So on the, on the back side, if you were looking at it, you would see a little Y splitter. So the Y splitter has a, a female XLR with two males and it's about a foot long. So one of the males is plugged straight back into the second XLR. So it splits it. The other one goes, uh, I got a little patch cable going to the back the first 16 channels of the X32 back there. So that's how I get my split. Uh, it's not an electronic split. It's just a split straight off split off the cable the reason why we do this is so we can not be at the mercy of a situation where we show up and we plan at a, say a festival or outdoor in the park kind of thing and they have a uh, you know a professional company that has a pa system out there where we bring our system in and we can set up our own in-ear system by using this rig we just won't use the front of house portion of it we'll just set it up uh, i'll take uh, that second row there the xlrs the outputs the males that's where the split goes and uh, i've got a 30 foot a snake that I plug right into it and it gives them all 16 inputs that we're plugging in there. Plus I have one that's coming off of the SD8, where, which is where the drums and uh, SPD SX Pro, the tracks are plugged in. So I give them 24 channels of split and they can do whatever they want. It allows us to be self-sufficient. We're happy, they're happy. We've got the mix in our ears that we rehearsed at the rehearsal room. Okay, so in the middle of the uh, rack there, there is a Behringer P16 router. It's got an input from the intranet, ultranet actually, from the X32, and that sends all the signals digitally to this router. And then there's eight ports that we can uh, hook up, eight different P16 personal mixers, and it will power them up. So we don't have to power, have power supplies at each location. All the band members have their own mixer. They can either drive a wedge, which I don't want with my band. They all use it ears. How great thou art. 
so everybody has their own mix they're not bugging me to turn up something in their mix it's a beautiful thing another thing you can't see in the rack because it's tucked away underneath we have a wi-fi router it's a mesh router and that allows uh, us to hook up with an ipad or a computer so that we can control the mixer because this is a rack mount mixer and it doesn't have the uh, controls like a faders and it doesn't have a you know it's not a big mixer on a, on a desk but so you have to have some way to you know mix with faders and everything and the ipads work really good and have a good this good wi-fi mesh you can walk away from the mixer probably 50 feet with no problem that's how we do it that's our rack if you have any questions let us know be looking out for the next set of videos showing how i do my routing for the p16 mixes those type of things routing in the x32 for the mix that i actually send to the p16